Hi everyone, welcome to Claude Tips and Tricks. We wish you happy holidays. If you haven't prepared your ear and card yet, this one is for you. We will learn how to create a tree with fur maps. So let's get started. We start with polygon tool. Hold down your shift key to go straight, click right to insert a number. Then I make a triangle freestyle and with edit pattern tool, click right here and unfold with symmetric editing. And then with Edit Curvature tool, we give some round shape here on the bottom. Okay, and then if you go to the Property Editor, you can check the length of this line here to create another pattern piece that will have the circumference of this value. Do a short click here and then circumference, you put the corresponding value here. And we will quickly sew it with free sewing tool. I will do it in two times, half and half. So once you're done with the sewing, then we can go to the 3D and arrange this. I check the right and wrong side of the fabric here so that if I'm only applying the fur on the front side of the fabric, I can apply no more fabric for the back and side, not to slow down computer too much. Then here, click right, move to ground center. I can also freeze it so that it could be served as a fixed base. Then let's simulate. Okay, don't forget to sew the side seams here. Since we are using a basic fabric, it keeps falling down. Maybe we can strengthen it and then it will be easier to manipulate it. You can also help it. It's taking its form. And then with the simulation on, I will select both pieces and then add some pressure here. So here you can decide also how much volume you want to have. And then once you find something you like, you can unfreeze it, grab this tree and find a nice angle in the position. I will just grab here on the top and try to place it in the middle. Here I press the number key 2 on my keyboard to face the front side. And this is going to be the view I will launch the final render with. And then here starting with the bottom I will freeze these pieces in case I press my space bar and everything falls down. Okay, now let's move on to the rendering. Click on the interactive render button to start. Let's remove the background color to better observe the fur. And then maybe make the image size a little bit bigger. And then we click on the fabric one and change the type of the fabric to fur. Here on top of the tree, we can observe the thickness and the length of the fur easily. As you scroll down, you will have the parameters related to the fur. Here you can play with melanin, glossiness values. Today we start directly with the fur shape section. Starting with the length, this is the easiest parameter to observe. You can try different numbers here to get an idea of the proportion between your tree shape and fur lengths. And here you can see the direction of the fur affected by gravity. The direction is decided by the bent value here. You can go from 0 to 1. If you put the minimum value 0 here, as you can see, the fur would go perpendicular way to your pattern piece as if there were no gravity. Then if I put the maximum value, which is 1, then the fur is going to be highly affected by the gravity here. You can also observe it here on the side. Okay, let me put this value back to zero. And then we continue with different values. Let me lower down a little bit the links. Okay, and then now we play with the thickness. The thickness can go up to 10. Okay, so let me try three here. You can check it here on the top again. What you can combine with thickness is the taper value. This value allows you to have different thickness on the root and the tip of the fur. You can go from 0 to 1. The higher the value is, thinner the fur is at the tip and vice versa. 
here we have zero and let's try one it always takes a bit of time when you are working with a fur so now you can see that at the tip of the fur it's very thin now and then you can also play with the density I go to 10 this will help us better understand the base maps underneath so with the base maps you can really give specific designs to your fur this is how it looks like it's a grayscale image containing black gray and white color so the white part gets the value of 1 and the black gets 0 let me bring in a few of them and see how it is applied so here you can observe directly even if you are in interactive render, sometimes the changes are not applied to the entire surface. In that case, don't hesitate to stop and restart the interactive render. Okay, and then I can also try this um, gradation one. For example, I will uh, drag and drop to the length section. You always have to check also the transformation section because all these base maps have different sizes. So depending on the size of your tree, you would have to sometimes adjust it. Maybe this base map concept seems a little bit complicated at first, but if you try a few of them, you will quickly understand and get the feeling of how this map work. Here I'm just playing with different style of maps to show you a few examples. I can also continue with the thickness here. So as you can observe, I get a little gradation on my thickness. When you start this for the first time, it's always easier if you keep only one of these three parameters. So I removed all of them and I'm only keeping one of this, so density this time. This way it's easier to understand how it works. And these base maps are simple image files so that you can create easily on um, Photoshop, Illustrator or you can even find black and white image on the internet as well if you want to try out different styles. Okay, so now we played around a little bit. Let's finalize our tree now. I prepared this base map image that I'm going to drag and drop to the length. Remove the density map. To make sure that the base map is read correctly, I'm going to stop and restart the interactive render. It seems like my base map doesn't have a good size, so I'm going to the property editor here and then change the size. I will put it to the 30 percentage so I get this Christmas tree form and then maybe now we can also start working with colors I will choose this green dark green color And then if you scroll down a little bit, you have this fur gradation option where you can add up to three different colors. You have the mid color and tip color part. So here, let me add a little yellow touch to my tree. And in white color, I like it. Looks like it has been under the snow. So let's keep it. Since now I have three different colors, I might make it a bit longer. I put 200 millimeters, for example. And we can also maybe review the density. For now, it's not dense enough so that we see the green background. Put 200. Now it starts really looking like a Christmas tree. All right, now I will leave you here so that you can continue play with. Hope you had fun watching this tutorial. If you come up with a nice car, please share with us. We are always happy to see our users' creations. Thanks for watching and see you next year.